Okay, so I'm going to make a video on how uh, we would add uh, symbols and models to a central library flow in Expedition and System Vision. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start everything from scratch so we can kind of see how it's done from the ground up. Um, before I even invoke anything though, what I want to do is I want to just make my wdir, my working directory, um, just start back from scratch so we can see what it's like from the beginning. So I have a bunch of other saved versions that I use in here so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename that to old and what that's going to do is that's going to make it so the next time I open um, System Vision or Expedition it's just going to use default settings so we can kind of see how we build this up from the ground up. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to open up System Vision. And the first step we have to do before we actually add this to our library is we gonna we want to make um, symbols, and then with these symbols, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import these into our central library. So I'm gonna create um, a test project, kind of like a sandbox. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use default because all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, create a symbol, and then once I create the symbol, I'm gonna export it, and then when I export it, I'm gonna import it into my central library. So sandbox, sandbox project, I'm going to save it to my desktop, click OK. Just use the default template, don't have to use the System Vision 1 board. So um, next thing I want to do is I, I don't like the black background too much, so let me just change it so I display objects. Let me load a scheme here, so I got some saved in my... Uh, expedition folder, color schemes, and let's do Aspen Blue. Click Apply, so that changes it right up for me. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to copy my models over to a location. So I already did these beforehand. So if I go into my repository and I go to System Vision and then I go to Models, uh, VHLMS, I have an example library that I have right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this to my desktop. paste. Okay. So next step is I have to create my symbol. So the easiest way to do that, let me actually, let me redock that like that. So easy way to do that is I could go to model and symbol wizard right there. Select the HLMS. Click dot dot dot. Then I save these to my desktop so I'm just going to go to my example library. Simple capacitor. Click open. And then I'm going to click next. Uh, I already have a symbol, so um, actually I don't have a symbol, so let's actually make one from the ground up. So I'm going to go to generic box, uh, P1, P2, that looks fine, that looks fine, finish. Okay, so this is in VX2, in VX2 you have an um, integrated symbol editor, but if you have an older version that has the other type of symbol editor, just create symbols like you normally would, but I'll just do this in VX2. So I'm going to delete my box right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to my symbol edit window layout. And then what I want to do is just, you know, a couple parallel plates. So draw one there, draw one there. It doesn't have to be pretty right now because this is just to show you the flow. Maybe a short line right there. And that looks like that's a little far out. So let me just move that right there. Gonna move this over here, and then next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta flip this over. So I'm gonna flip that, move it right there. That looks good. Move that right there. Uh, don't want to have the names there. Or I could just leave them for right now. Uh, okay. So once I save this, you do update symbol and design, and I close this. And then if I go to my, um, change my view here, go back to default, I could go to DX data book. I'm just going to dock that right there. Go to symbol view, drag this in. So now this is the symbol I want to actually import into my uh, central library. So if I go to properties, So if I go to properties, right, 
and I have all the system vision properties that are needed in order to netlist my design. So next thing I want to do is I want to actually export this. So you go to DX Databook, left click, and then if you right click on it, so just go back, right click, uh, you have an export symbols option. So I'm just going to export it um, to my desktop again. Click OK. Close this and then exit out of here. So what that did was when I exported it, um, so this is my example library with all my models here. If I go to my SYM folder, what we'll have is at 1040 AM I actually just exported this simple capacitor to this location. So next step what we want to do is I want to import this into my library. So the way I do that is I'm just going to um, really quick you know, go to my install directory and I'm just going to take a sample library from here. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. You may have your corporate one but if you have that available just so we're just going to open that but I'm just going to uh, take a copy and use that. So I'm going to find the version that I'm on of System Vision. So that is 1611 uh, VX2. Go inside here. Um, go into STD Home. And if you're not quite sure where um, library files are, so I could do star.lmc and I'll pull up all the uh, libraries in my install. So if you ever need an example to work with, this is an easy way to grab some. Uh, what I'm going to grab though is I'm just going to do my Expedition E1 open file location and then I'm just going to copy this. So let me copy this to my um, desktop again. Okay, and then once that's copied to my desktop, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to open um, XDM Library Tools. So if I go to Data Management, XDM Library Tools and I'm just going to check out a 100 license because just what we want to do right now is we just want to import it into the central library and then we're going to use that central library. So I go back to desktop and then if I go to my library they just copied over, open that up. And then next thing I want to do is I want to go to my symbols and then I go to new partition and then my system vision models. And then what we do next is I'm going to import these the symbol I just created. So sandbox, sandbox project, sim, simple capacitor, click open. If you double click you actually can get a preview of the um, simple capacitor inside XDM library tools. And then actually opened up the symbol editor. So I'm going to close this. Okay, and then, so next thing I have to do is, so I got my symbol in my library. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to actually move my models to a location so that, so we got the symbol here, but we don't have the model in a location where it's known. So the way we do this is, let me close my central library you got a few choices of where to save them. I'm just going to do it right now in just this example library location. There is a spot in central library if you wanted to um, under models and there's VHLMS and SPICE and stuff like that. But I'm just going to keep it in this location for now. And what I want to do is I want to actually copy my sysvis.ini and put it into my um, WDIR location. If you already have one there you can just edit it but I'm just going to copy one there. So I'm going to go to my install locations uh, go back to VX2 and then what I'm going to go to is SCD Home uh, then I'm going to go to Standard and then if you scroll down to Standard and you type S there should be a SysVis down a little more SysVis INI so this is the one we want to copy you don't want to edit it in the Standard Directory because this is the default one but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my C drive again go to WDIR and this is why I wanted to use a pristine copy so we could kind of see what you'd want to do just to paste that here. So once I paste this here, I'm going to open it up in Notepad++. And then if you scroll down, uh, there is a section. Oh, right here, I passed it. Model source folders. So what this is, is this is the path that SystaVision looks for models when it can't find one. 
So this is a uh, good flow if you don't want to use a compiled library. Instead you could just point to source files and by pointing to source files you don't have to worry about recompiling your libraries version to version. Uh, if you want to get fancy you could actually make this into an environment variable and that way it's a relative path rather than an absolute but if you have this already on a network drive you could probably just make it an absolute path. So I saved that. Um, so now System Vision knows where my models are. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um, create a new project and just point to my central library. So open up System Vision again. And I'm not going to use my sandbox, sandbox project, so I'm going to remove that. So I'm going to create a new project. And this one, um, I'm going to point to that library I just created. So if I go to my desktop and I go to here, I got my Exhibition EE LMC. And then, so my test project. And let me save this to my desktop again. Uh, let's create a new board and then if I go to DX databook and I go to my symbol views there's that capacitor we created and then if I push into it we have the model source code and the path to that model source code is on my desktop because remember we added that to my if I open up notepad plus plus again we added this to our sysfist.ini in our wdir path uh, this could be a network drive, this could be your local to your computer, but this is nice because now I don't have to manage compiled libraries, I just manage source files. So next thing, what do I want to do? I want to do some simulation. So first thing to do, if I click on this, oops, don't have access to it, so how do I fix this? Well, let me just, uh, you could add symbols to your library, map does there, but what a quick way to do this is do you switch central library, and that's actually just going to take me to my um, system vision library and the system vision library already has all that stuff mapped for me so add my ground and then maybe add a resistor just connect that add a source Connect that. Uh, left click on this, control hold to copy, and then just connect it again. Just drag it up to the symbol, drag out. I can align both of these just like that. You know, rename your nets to whatever you want. And let's just do a quick simulation to show that it will compile this model. Oh, one thing we forgot, uh, we forgot to enter a capacitance. So if I go to edit model properties on my capacitor, go to parameters, and let's just enter a microfarad. Oops. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Just enter any old end time. This is just to show you how we get this managed. Alright, so that is how you import symbols into your central library then also manage the models uh, within a central library flow.